In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to receive your money from PayPal without needing to verify your PayPal tax ID and explore how to lift the verification limit. Whether you're new to PayPal or simply want to understand this process better, we're here to guide you through it smoothly. First off, make sure you have a PayPal account. If you haven't already signed up, head over to the PayPal website and click on the sign up button. Follow the on-screen prompts to create your account. It's essential because we cannot proceed without one. Once your account is set up, log in using your credentials. Now that you're inside, you'll find yourself on the PayPal homepage or dashboard. Next, let's ensure the email address associated with your PayPal account is verified. It's a simple yet important step in making sure you can receive funds without any hitches. Verification strengthens your account's integrity. Now here's what you need to do when someone needs to send you money. Provide them with your verified email address or your mobile number. This information is crucial as it acts as the destination point for the funds being sent your way. As soon as the sender initiates the payment, you should receive a notification in your email or directly within the app interface, letting you know that the funds have arrived. Upon confirming the availability of the money in your account, you have two options. You can choose to leave the funds in your PayPal balance, ready for future purchases or transactions. This is quite handy if you frequently shop online or pay for services using PayPal. Alternatively, you may opt to transfer the money to your linked bank account. Simply follow the transfer funds instructions provided on the PayPal site or app and you'll be all set. It's also worth mentioning that you can indeed receive payments with an unverified PayPal account. However, it's important to know that there are certain limitations. Unverified accounts may have sending and withdrawal limits that could potentially restrict your flexibility in managing your funds. To lift these limits, you will need to complete the verification process. This typically entails connecting and confirming a bank account or a credit or debit card. PayPal might also request additional information to confirm your identity especially if there's any unusual activity noted on your account or to comply with regulatory requirements. By going through these steps, you ensure your account is fully verified and you gain access to more features and higher transaction limits. And there you have it, a straightforward approach to managing your PayPal funds without verifying your tax ID and some additional steps to lift account limits for better usability. I hope this breakdown was helpful and make sure to share this with anyone who might find it useful. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy transacting.